Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, and Tom Griswold. And now, here's Tom. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Happy to be here. We're in the Napa Auto Parts studios. That's right. Your friends from Napa, say hello. And uh, I'll say hello to Ace Cosby, our engineer. Hello, Tom. Proprietor of the Ace Cosby joke of the day. Chick McGee, bringing it to the OrangeInsoles.com sports desk. Bringing what, you ask? Well, we'll find out. (laughs) (laughs) There's Josh. That's Christy Lee chuckling over there at the Navy Federal Credit Union news desk. Greg Hahn is our guest. Hotels. Yes. Should be honest with you when you check in. Really? Wouldn't that be fun? You say hello, they go, our walls are paper thin. (laughs) The free buffet is a zoo. (laughs) Screaming kids, Cheerios, and the yogurt. (laughs) Spotty (laughs) Wi-Fi. Check out the stain on your comforter. (laughs) Free breakfast. No matter what time you show up, you just missed it. (laughs) We've got a pool and jacuzzi, but next door there's a minute clinic to treat whatever you picked up at our pool and jacuzzi. (laughs) Thank you very much. Greg Hahn, Dayton, Ohio. That's uh, tonight and tomorrow at Woo-hoo! Wiley's, uh, the, the great Greg, huh? I believe we're going to... Uh, One more sports story. Oh, okay. Tiger Woods Ventures, TGR. Yeah. And Pop Stroke Entertainment Group. Wouldn't that be TW... Yeah, TGR. It's his company. He TWV. name it anything Tiger, Tiger Woods Ventures. Ventures? Yeah. yeah <laughs> sorry. I think TGR is probably on the... Tiger's Golf something. Ticker. The old ticker. ticker. Okay, sorry. Can you work with me for just a second? I'm going to be quiet. I I don't believe you. It's the longest you've ever gone without speaking. Pop stroke. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> without sticking your nose in and telling somebody how to do something. How long? Like an hour, not maybe? A, not as long as it's taking to get to the point of the story. <laughs> <laughs> that's sports. Uh, what, what's Tiger what's doing? What's the story? Pop stroke was founded in 2018. A technology-infused golf entertainment concept featuring professionally designed putting courses and exceptional food and beverage. Oh. It's called Pop Stroke. So it's going to be like a top golf for putting? No, it's like a top golf for putting. Is it putt-putt? <laughs> sort of. Pop Stroke currently has one facility in Port St. Lucie. <laughs> okay. But And uh, the locations in Scottsdale and Fort Myers, uh, Florida, currently under development. Hmm. And several additional sites are planned for 2020, and Tiger Woods will be responsible for designing the putting courses at Pop Stroke locations. Putt putt course. Tiger said, This is a natural extension of my golf course design philosophy and my TGR designs. I got to tell you, I love putt putt and its uh, variations, and uh, Top Golf is a blast. So, yes, if if this is Top Golf for putting, this may be huge. I like to use the driver on the putt putt course. I demolish the windmill, (laughs) (laughs) decapitate the gnome, (laughs) let the the big big dog dog eat. (laughs) Tiger Woods could play golf when he was three years old. Yeah. When I was three years old, I got a golf ball in a golf club. I swallowed the ball and knocked my sister's teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Hahn, ladies and gentlemen. Food, soft drink, signature oh, cup. There's got to be a better name than Pop Stroke. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I was am. confused. Me Hello, too. Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hi, Bob and Tom. It's Donnie Baker. Hey, Donnie. Hey. If Tiger's designing it, then half the holes will be a Denny's waitress. I swear to God. <laughs> hey, Hahn, you're always bragging about all your dates from hell. Try topping this one. Okay. Uh, I started seeing this new chick I met at Benny's last week on Co-Ed Dark Night. Right. And I asked her out, and she told me she won't go apple picking. Well, she's half pilgrim or something. <laughs> but she had a hot sister, so last Sunday I have her come pick me up. It's like 90 minutes away, down a bunch of roads with no names, just numbers. Uh-oh. We finally get there. What a tourist trap. Not only is it an apple orchard, it's also an orchard slash pumpkin patch slash um, corn maze, slash half-deflated bounce houses, uh-huh. slash hayride, slash pet and zoo, uh-huh. and then just to get in a place for 12 bucks a piece. Oh, plus another 10 bucks to park. Oh, why do I gotta have to pay to park in a field? When I, when I hit Chili's or Walmart, they don't you know make me pay in their lot. Their lot's paved. Mark off it. <laughs> yeah. Good but point. somehow, here in the middle of parts unknown, parking's a hot commodity. Oh, and then on top of all that, I gotta pay for the apples and the pumpkins. How's it cheaper to buy apples at the store? You know, 
Here we're doing all the work, the picking and pruning, bagging, entire refining process, and still paying triple what Kroger's charges me. Uh-huh. I swear to God. <laughs> and you, you guys know me. I'm, I'm pretty good at science, but this don't add up. Uh-huh. Not to mention, I've never understood a woman's fascination with going apple picking. What's I mean, it ain't 1852 or medieval times, you know? <laughs> Well, back then, Christy, your only date options were apple picking or shoeing horses. Yeah. <laughs> maybe okay. flying a kite in a meadow, or, or, you know. So I understand why you do it back then, but you ladies, Christy, claim it's romantic. Mm-hmm. Even though doing this much work, the orchard should be paying me. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. I'll say right to the prospector's face. Oh, and, and tell me what's so romantic about a hayride. You know, good point. Be- between my Mountain Dew and her lip gloss, we were smothered in sweat bees before we hit the car. <laughs> oh, and the orchard had even more bees plus mud daubers. <laughs> and then after we picked our own apples, we get back to shed. She wants to share a caramel apple for another seven bucks. <laughs> I'm like, now she's in on it. This has all the makings of conspiracy. <laughs> but on a positive note, that dead molar I needed pulled for the last two years is gone. <laughs> <laughs> and then don't get me started on a pet and zoo neither. Uh, two of their goats are crippled, and the other is just a dick that charged the guards. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> and the most exotic animal in the entire pet and zoo was their family's cocker spaniel named Trina. <laughs> You laugh, and I hate cocker spaniels. And then I once got a world class case of crotch crickets from a lingerie model named Trina. Oh, <laughs> good. Now it goes on, and by the time we left, I dropped a total of 97 bucks on a bag of apples, a gallon of apple cider, and a bag of ice for the bee stings, and one missing tooth. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, spoiler alert go easy on the cider. And I was halfway to pound town with Miss Applecore yeah. when everything cut loose. Oh, and, Donnie. Well, no need for details, Christy, but I had to rename my fantasy football team the Splash. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Speaking of that, i got to run. Yeah, no. well. He's so disgusting. <laughs> yeah, but what about the crotch crickets? <laughs> he is right, though. When you get to that area where none of the streets have names and... Yep. East 70,000. I live out there. I know what it's like. I've I've never done that apple picking. Really? really How long do you do that? Like six minutes? (laughs) Max? (laughs) Depends on how many apples you want. (laughs) Four. By the time you've gotten all the itchy bugs (laughs) out of your clothes from the hayride and get the ladder. I'm a fan. I like that stuff. I like the pumpkin. You do that, Josh? Yeah, every year the whole whole family goes. What? How long do you... Pull apples off a tree. Uh, the hay you ride takes you, drops us off of the pumpkin patch. We're there for about 15 minutes, and then we go to the uh, orchard, and we're there for about another 20, 15, nice. 20 minutes. Yeah. Did you cut right. down your own Christmas tree? No. Uh-uh. Uh, so I've done that. Yeah. That's got to be kind of fun. Yeah, if you're going to do it, wear eye protection. <laughs> I would just, just okay. telling you. Yeah. What? Because yeah. you're down under the tree and... <laughs> with the saw. Squirrels jump out, you know. No, no and all this. The neighbor's furious. Yeah. So I'm sorry. So the Tiger Woods indoor, outdoor, putt, putt, whatever. Uh, where were we? Time out for news. Here's Christy. Okay. Christy? Thank you. Well, we were talking about uh, STDs. The yes. rates in the United States are continuing to climb. Why? What are you doing? No, no, Hans right. Why? The sports <laughs> outro. I'm a sorry, new government no. reports uh, finds combined cases of syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia reached an all-time high in 2018. Here we go. Nearly two and a half million cases of these sexually transmitted diseases were reported to the U.S. Centers for the Disease Control and Prevention for the year. So, yeah. Hmm. What rubber, about the girl I know? Rub her up. <laughs> what about the What about my, the girl that I like? What about her? Told me she has HPV. Yeah. yeah. I said, great, we'll watch the fight at your house. Come on. <laughs> I can't do that joke enough. <laughs> hey! My fan, it's going to be my new closer. <laughs> we have, um... That's a good one. We have a return to sports here. What? A chick read some story about, um, uh, a, I guess, a locker room talk that got released. What was the background? Oh, the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, uh, Cardinals manager Mike Schilt. S H I L D T. Right. He evidently had uh, a couple of uh, problems with what the Atlanta Braves were uh, shooting their mouths off about early in the series. And uh, Somebody, Cardinals came back and took the series. So he uh, told the Braves, hey, nobody messes with us more. Cardinals, yeah. You let the Cardinals. Yeah. We have the uh, audio. Oh, good. If you'd like to hear some of this. Apparently, this, I, I'm, this has been. Uh, well, of course beat. it's been bleeped. Okay, I'm just, I'm just checking. There have been incidents on the show before. Let's uh, give this. What I love about this series is we played the game hard, we played the game right. They started some s. 
we finish this shit. Yeah, yeah, let's go. And that's how we roll. We don't start, but no one with us ever. Ever. All right? Now, I don't give a who we play. We're going to fuck him up. We're going to take it right to him the whole fucking way. We're going to kick their fucking ass. Yeah, let's go. Now, if you if you heard any bad words there, it's, it's strictly your your imagination. Yeah. Oh yeah, they were thoroughly uh, beeped out uh, by our professional editor Dean. Uh, now that was David Mamet, by the way. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not really sure what he was saying there. I, now, but we uh, there's a new thing that we have. Um, it's a machine that uh, does the same thing. It recognizes. This is kind of like facial recognition technology from an audio perspective, Josh. Mm-hmm. So let's just see. I'm crossing my fingers it's a way it recognizes the bad words apparently has, and just bleeps has, has anybody listened to this are we oh, and what does it do it, it, it well you'll see here we go oh. what i love about this series is we played the game hard we played the game right we started some stuff we finished this stuff yeah let's go and that's how we roll we don't start but no one messes with us ever ever all right now i don't give a f- darn who we play <laughs> mess we're gonna, f- we're gonna take it right to the whole f- doggone boy <laughs> But yeah, let's go. Oh, as you can see, um, this, that's in real time. It works, so yeah, very, very, very handy. Uh, <laughs> nobody, it's nobody, a good app. Yeah. Nobody gets offended. You'll mm-hmm. want to have that uh, for your t- <laughs> television and dining pleasure. Uh, <clears throat> now, uh, where were we, Christy? I'm sorry, I interrupted. Uh, we were talking about STDs. No big deal. Oh yeah, yeah. let's well, get back into that. No, let's uh-huh. not. Remember when I showed you my whole panel and I'm all clean? Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good story. <laughs> <laughs> Carry that in a, you have it laminated? Carry it in your wallet? Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, t- time to go back to driver's ed for a motorist in Canada who flipped his car while trying to parallel park in Vancouver. Wow. Dash cam footage taken of the incident shows the car You've got pull to up to a curb and accelerate while in reverse the vehicle mounted the curb crashed into a nearby building flipped over onto the sidewalk oops fail right several pedestrians were injured two were hospitalized you can't pass doing that right no 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 hang on come come back i'm watching the video oh my god oh wow come down and try have you seen this no i haven't no okay so uh backing up yeah that's how you usually parallel park. Up and over the curb. <laughs> as Christy described. At speed. <laughs> yes. yep, yep, just at as, speed. As, heading as toward, heading toward a nearby building. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. And then he flips over, yeah. right? Yeah. Hits something in a flip. It's really quite interesting. We'll put a, the video like, on our website. I like her haircut. That's, I like that's her what haircut. Gotta, Wait a minute. Hold this, it. This is new information. That was the reporter doing the story. Oh, man. Yeah. This guy. Wow. The car is... Completely flipped over. The look, guys, look—he's not dead. Yeah. Are you? Can you parallel park? I can't. No, I'm terrible at it. I'm amazing. My at daughter is moved from a high rise to a, a three floor walk up where you have to parallel park and park on the street in Chicago. I cannot do it. Oh. I can't. Get one of those cars with the automatic back and forth. Right. That they park make cars for that, you. Yeah. Does your your BMW do that? Won't it, Chick? Uh uh-uh. Not oh. this one. Oh. Huh. I learned to do it in an '82 Caddy, so I can oh, parallel that, park anything. That's a boat. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> now, what if that well, those cars that do it by themselves? Do they also know if there are people in the way? <laughs> I would think they would know anything. The sensors. Does it stop? No matter if, what it was. I would think. This guy's lucky. The commercial I saw. Somebody. The guy puts his hands in the in his lap and the wheel turns. Are the you car, serious? Yeah. Oh, I need that. Isn't that the one that John Hamm does the voiceover on? That. That's a Mercedes. That's a Mercedes. John Hamm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this is. I mean, you see this video. You think, how could you possibly flip your car over parallel parking? And this yeah. is, it's lucky he didn't kill these people. The car it's is, almost like his accelerator stuck in reverse. Yeah. You, you That's kind of what it looks like. You I, never parallel I just park hope, that I just, quick. I just hope he'd already hit and sand speed. on the text he was sending. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Wait, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> Who's saying <laughs> Jimmy Crack? Nah, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> 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 I hope you were setting him up for that on purpose. <laughs> I was, of course. <laughs> All, right. All right, it's time for Chick. Huh? The radio show. <laughs> Good, Greg. Tonight! Thank you, Greg. Are we keeping track of Greg's jokes? I, Tonight! I, I got a... It has... I got K, 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 K. <laughs> There's Johnny Mathis' lover, Chris Haley. <laughs> October 11th. 1910, Theodore Roosevelt becomes the first former U.S. president 
to um, missionary position in the kitchen. <laughs> in the kitchen. I know this one. This is you obvious. know this one, it's but you obvious. can't play. Uh, be, be, 1910. Be, be put on some kind of currency. Fly in an airplane. Oh, okay. You can't oh, be on currency ah. until you're deceased. I, I just oh. read about this, actually. Did you? Well, I read a, a, a book about the Wright brothers. Nerd. Yeah. Nerd. Oh. I read that book. Egghead. He read uh, that David book, too. Book? Yeah, yeah. yeah here we go. All right. Nerd. Super Genghis. brave. Unbelievable. Insanely brave. brave. Yeah. Yeah. And they would wear a tie, coat, yeah. and, coat and tie, and they're getting in this jalopy. Why does airplane. that... Do you know they had a? You know they had the bike shop before. They, right, of course. Uh, you, you know they kept that open the whole way. That uh, mm -hmm, bike shop. Yeah. Did it keep yeah. them funding the plane? Stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. But you got to think towards the end, like they <laughs> they weren't paying as much attention to their bicycle customers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey Orville, I brought my bike in six weeks ago. Yeah, no, we're working on it. I don't think you are because I'm pretty sure I saw my handlebars attached to your flying machine in the front yard. <laughs> <laughs> How about it? <laughs> That's Dayton, Ohio, the home of the Wright Brothers and Greg Ward at the Funny Bone. Uh, Greg Hine will also be in town. <laughs> oh. hey. Wait, no, Greg will be at the hey. uh, Wiley's. Yeah, well, to make it easier today, I'm going to change my name for today's show. I am Marty Tenderloin. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's good. I'm, uh, no, I'm a big, big fan of Marty's. Yeah. 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 On yeah, this day. So now here's more of today. <laughs> I like doing this. Ed Esther. I like it. October 11th, 1975, SNL premiered with... Uh, George Carlin. As host. That's right, Oh, uh, and they did... Uh, they have the Muppets. Didn't they do... Yeah. Yeah. Were, yeah. The guy was... The Muppet looked right. like a giant mountain. Remember that? And yeah. Chris, Chris Kattan did that monkey Yeah, thing. Chris Farley yeah. was in there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You guys are crazy. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, on this date think, in 1983. Uh, have, you gone, have you gone back to watch like the first season? They, they really don't... Uh, there's a lot of air. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, there are some that don't work at all. But, but. Uh, there was absolutely... The world was a different place. There were three channels. There was nothing like that on television. Some of it is just so great still. Yeah. Man, oh, man. What? <laughs> oh, I love uh, ba the Bassomatic, and mm -hmm. I love... Uh, there's Chevy some... Chase was just hilarious in those uh -huh. doing the new... Yeah, Belushi with update. the little chocolate donuts. Oh, yeah, that was oh, like... yeah. the dead quartet. <laughs> no, they would never today do half that. You would never see Belushi doing the samurai guy. No, you wouldn't, especially now. right yeah. now. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I remember he said, Chevy, I'm Chevy Chase, and you're not. That cracked me And up. I lost my mind. <laughs> <laughs> thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever heard. Yeah. Oh, we're going. 1980. We don't have to do that every time, okay? <laughs> Sorry. October 11th. It sets it up nice. 1983. <laughs> yeah. The last hand-cranked telephones in the United States went out of service Whoa. as customers in Bryant Pond, Maine switched to direct dial. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> uh, dial is that better. Was great. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And now, now, the old oh, crank. Yeah. Wow. Dug yeah. out the crank. But it's, it's but so they went from I'm sorry, I'm hand cranked to regular phones. Yeah. But I mean the, the but they didn't get rid of the dial though, did they? I mean, hand cranked means that's like, that was the kind that was on the wall that you cranked up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, when, in eighty three. Yeah, when, yeah. When did they get rid of the final ones that have can, did dial phones? Would they still work? Oh, they're still using them in yeah, Maine. Yeah, you can still yeah. use them. They do work. No, I don't know. Depending uh, on if you have the switch on the, the back rotary, of the phone. You mean? yeah, because yeah. there's a switch on the back of some phones. And yet we still we still say dial when you punch in the numbers on a cell phone. So mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. That's, That's interesting. Right. Yeah, there's no dial at all, is there? On no, this date in 1992. It wouldn't be interesting if there was like an underground version of the Andy Griffith show where they, they finally cut to Sarah and she's doing you know, sex talk phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's Sarah? She was the operator on the The operator of the Andy, Andy Griffith, Griffith show. show. Hi, Sarah, get me party. <laughs> you know, so they, found, they finally cut and there's some hot woman in a lot in lingerie. Wait, what was her name again? Sarah. Oh. You didn't know that? Mm-mm. -mm. I don't remember that. You're not an Andy Griffith show? The fan? Starship song was based on her. Do you guys Sarah, know? Okay. Sarah. Son of a gun. Man, I nailed it. You did. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah, you. It was perfect, man. On this date in 1992, Dion yeah. Sanders played for the Atlanta Falcons, then hopped on a plane to play for... The Atlanta Braves. That's right, Isn't that Chick. cool? Yeah. That's like you, Josh. Egomaniac. It's like you having pizza for lunch and Chinese for dinner. Or uh, pizza for lunch and Chinese for lunch. 
<laughs> My doctor says I'm obese. <laughs> According to federal guidelines, I'm really fat. Uh, Once we get a chest x-ray. <laughs> Funny stuff. I'm wheezing a lot. <laughs> Can't feel my left foot. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll be able to hold it in my hand in a couple sore. of weeks. I've got a sore that won't heal. <laughs> hey, doctor, when you cut that off, can I keep it? Sorry, back to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> On this date in 1995, John Bobbitt had plastic surgery to increase his uh, penis length by three inches. And a penis length. Though this is the guy that's had his male member lopped off. Yes, sure. by his wife, Lorena. Oh, he had a surgery right before that? No, he had, this was after the fact. Oh. They can't add length to it. <laughs> John Bobbitt well, what had did plastic I spend all that money on? <laughs> by three inches. That's not what my doctor They did something. Well, now I know where it went. <laughs> yeah? Oh, God. Oh, I made a donation now. Oh, oh, did you? Yeah, you gave it's all like, It's kind of like locks for You're love. You're a donor. Well, it's almost, almost the same logo. <laughs> Not love, it's kids. So they, should have, they should have planted it on his forehead. What he made a it? porn, didn't he? Yeah, I did. Porn. That wasn't that good. Jerk. You know, that is... <laughs> Josh, that's your adult cinema. Yeah, yeah, I like the erotic uh, All cinema. Right. Oh, yeah, that's sure, it. Back sure. to you, Christy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read this as written. Uh -huh. All right. On this date, October 11th, 2008, yeah. I did not write this. Oh, Blind driver breaks land speed record. <laughs> <laughs> Does he not warrant a name? I, can, um, I remember I remember this. Can't we give the guy credit? Uh, okay, here we go. Well, Stevie won. Yeah, Blind Driver sounds like a racehorse. I know, it does. His, it's like... His name is Luke Kosterman. Thank you. Set the new world speed record for blind drivers of 192 miles an hour in a borrowed Lamborghini. Okay. No way. Here you go. I got a question no for way. you. So say you own a Lamborghini and a, your buddy goes, hey, listen, can I borrow it? A blind friend of mine wants to drive it. Well, the li Lamborghini owner was deaf, didn't hear him ask. <laughs> what is this, some kind of joke? Here's a picture of it. Yeah. That's a pretty... Fancy looking Orange. car. Orange. God, unbelievable. Um, Those I, aren't good for anything but driving fast, right? You can't run to uh, picking up chicks to pick up anything. Yeah, no, I don't. Um, yeah, well, let's Lamborghinis. See. You're going to need one of those. Say you got a doctor's appointment at nine fifteen, uh -huh. and it's nine fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Jump take in the, the Lamborghini. Take the Lambo. You just park it right in front, and you're in. Yeah, this is a crazy. Uh, the land speed record in a wow. In a Lamborghini. Blind. Man. That That's was a category. That, yeah, yeah. That, it's He's, the it's the fastest car ever driven, or the fastest by a blind guy. Well, fastest at, by at a blind time, guy. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. It's probably don't have to be. As, <laughs> I, I, you probably don't have to be as brave though, as you, if you can see, because you really don't know what's yeah, coming. But, yeah, you just got to press down on the pedal. Yeah, That's okay. it. Huh? I'm sure you had somebody in there with them. Even, it was so you line. swear there's nothing ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you know no, man. How do you know that guy's not depressed? Why don't take himself trust. out? Yeah. You even don't know. In the uh, salt flats. I, what if you, you just a little bit, you'd flip, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You got to Who be is the spotter? That's what I want to know. The guy was in the, the car with him. That's 192? Yeah, that's, that's not, not that, that fast. fast. Thank you. <laughs> well, he, he, I was going 120 right out here the other day. I'll tell you what, his uh, dog with his head out the window, <laughs> he got the thr thrill of a lifetime. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there's a back seat full of dog manure. <laughs> Welcome to Joke Archaeology. Uh, we'll find it. Yeah, yeah. Watch the entire show live or on demand with the Bob and Tom VIP All Access Pass. Listen live with the Bob and Tom app and make sure to visit BobandTomStore.com. Tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.